So did you have an idea like going into it of how well you expected to do, how well you like ambitiously wanted to do? Like what was your kind of threshold? Were you in it to win it, in it to just get like your voice in there or what? I was in it to win it, uh, but I was quite realistic to think that, that that was a really a long shot, but I was going to try for it anyway. Right. And uh, uh, but I did expect to get about 10 times more votes than I did. Uh, like, uh, at, and I think that uh, the reason that my, my, uh, the, the, the account that I got was, was way below my expectations was because of the, uh, the way the race went. Like, there was very little discussion in the community except for Mike Nickel is bad. So, so he was was pretty well the discussion and that was the it's not a very deep discussion which frustrated me like i wanted to talk about uh, all the issues and 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 get people talking about the issues and get people engaged but everybody was like uh over covid worried and uh the federal election uh and so it you know i, I was really disappointed like i I thought that I could uh, somehow get through to the people that don't usually vote and get them to vote. I mean, if I could have done that, uh, they're the majority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I, and I think that's uh, a, like a recurring issue and it's it's hard to see how that's gonna get better is people, we've got it, we've basically got a system set up where it's like you have essentially two people that are running against each other because people don't want the other guy to get in. And so people are scared to give their votes to people that they might align with more politically because, well, what if this person that is, you know, on the other side gets in, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. And to be fully honest, like that's how I voted because when I look at that list of candidates, I go, um, you know, I look, I look at candidates and I see a platform like yours that says, Hey, let's stop burning everything. And I think, Hmm, this is probably the most like salient point really any of us should be talking about is the fact that we're in an unfolding climate emergency, but that's not in the end what gets talked about. So the idealist in me as a voter thought, well, I mean, this is who, this is somebody I would love to vote for. Um, but in all honesty, like the realist in me looked at, I went, well, how concerned am I about uh, Mike Nickel winning? And, you know, do I want to vote strategically? And I, I did vote for Amarajit Sohi, and I do, I do like stand by that vote. I think he is uh, a great candidate. Here's a statistic for you. Uh, Amarajit uh, raised uh, a little over three quarters of a million dollars, and he spent uh, about $4.70 per vote. And uh, I I spent uh, almost three thousand dollars worth of my own money, and I s spent a dollar seventy per vote. So I spent much less per vote than he did. Mm -hmm. That's, that, and uh, I don't know if that means anything, but uh, to me, it's an interesting statistic. Mm 